I had a problem with my key falling out while I was driving here in my Toyota Tundra. So what I did is got a new key made. You see the new key and this is the old key. But let me zoom in and show you what the problem was with this old key while it was falling out. If you look at the end, you can see a little slot or a beveled part right there at the end. I guess after 10 years it wore itself out. I'm going to turn it over if you see again on that side also. I'm going to zoom in. But if you look at the new key, at the end it's square. You don't see that bevel or a slot. So let me show you what happened when I put the old key in and start my vehicle up. And when I start this vehicle up, you're going to notice that I can actually pull the key out while this vehicle is running. And it actually falls out while I'm driving, going 55, 60 miles an hour. You see the RPMs? And watch how I pull this right out. You see how easy that was to pull out. And I think this is wear and tear from the key after 10 years. So I'm glad I didn't change the ignition out. I just got a new key made. And I'm going to go ahead and stop it and put the new key in and show you the difference. Look, that key comes right out, that old key. So now I'm going to put the new key in. As you can see, it's square. It don't have that beveled in. And once I put the new key in and started it up, it locked itself in place. So before changing the ignition, try getting a new key made. As you can see, I started it. You can see the RPMs, it's up running. And I'm gonna try to pull this key out. You see the key won't come out. So that was the only problem. So like I said, I'm glad I didn't change that ignition out. It would have cost, cost me a few dollars. I just got a new key made. All right, thank you and have a great day.